it's Simon here and I'm going to show you how to uh, smoke some pheasant and some partridge today. Uh, so the first thing that I need to do is to make up a brine solution. So what I'm going to use for this is basically salt and sugar and I'm also going to put some uh, Copperberg cider in it just to give it a bit of a fruity flavour. It's one of the, one of the uh, fruity ciders, this sort of stuff. Anything like that will do do quite well. You can use beer and other things. Um, so the ingredients are basically cooking salt, granulated sugar. You can use brown sugar as well, just as good. Um, I'm going to add in some garlic. So that's a whole whole bulb of garlic sitting in the garlic press here. And I'm probably going to use some, well, going to use some, some hot water and also some cold water in here. So I'm going to, going to put those ingredients together just now. Right, so what I'm going to do is put in the salt first. So I'm going to put in a half cup of salt to start off with. So I'll put that into the water. Uh, in fact, no, I'm, going to put in, I'm going to put in a full cup of salt. Right, so that's one cup of salt. I'm going to pour in my hot water to just boil. This will help it to uh, dissolve better. So about 50-50 with the uh, cold water and the hot water. Give a good stir around. Let's move that out the way. So that's one cup of salt in there. I'm going to add the sugar as well. What I'm going to do with that is about a quarter cup. So, yeah, that's about a quarter cup. So I'm just going to drop that in as well. Mix that all up. It's important to get this dissolved pretty well. Now we can see that the, uh, the salt and the sugar has dissolved quite well. You can see it's just gone quite clear to the bottom and there's nothing, nothing sitting there, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the, the cider, which has got fruit flavours in it, so that will be, uh, be quite nice. Get some of those fruit flavours into the meat. So I'll just put one can of that in, I think that'll be enough. And then I'm going to squeeze in the garlic. Let's give that a quick stir around, mix it all up. So that's looking quite good. So now I'm going to have to let that cool because I don't want to put the, uh, the pheasant and partridge into it and it starts Cooking the, cooking the food. So I'm just going to let that cool down for a little bit in the fridge. Right, so I've got the, uh, the brine out of the fridge. So it's just cooled down nicely. It's been in there just about half an hour. So uh, yeah, it's quite cool. So let's get a quick stir. And then I've also got the uh, partridge and the pheasant. Now these are partridge breast that I've already prepared as you can see from last shooting season so uh, there's actually let me see we've got uh, the breast meat that's one one side and the other side you can do this with you can do this uh, recipe with chicken as well it'll work just as well if you don't like um, shot stuff so there we go so I'm going to put the partridge just straight in there Straight into the brine. Do that with these others. And got a, these are some pheasants shot at uh, one of our shoots, Quarry Bray shoot. Just drop those in as well. This is from another shoot, Westerton shoot. 
with them being fairly small pieces of meat they uh, they will uh, cure quite quickly so you don't have to have them in too long uh, I still like to make it overnight um, so you know up to up to 24 hours is ideal uh, 12 hours at a push uh, 48 hours even better but uh, it'll certainly be fine at 24 so I'm going to do these I'm going to smoke them tomorrow um, which will be just fine so there you can see the uh, actual pieces of pheasant just sitting in the brine you can put slits in the, some, some parts of them if you wish that would uh, allow more of the brine to go into the meat perhaps um, but I find this method works fine just like this so the garlic the garlic and the, the fruits out of the, and the cider will try and get some flavour into the, into the meat um, and it, it will make a noticeable difference um, the garlic certainly comes through very nicely so th these are going to be put into the fridge now just covered with a bit of cling film overnight so I've been smoking some cheese there which has uh, gone really well it looks terrific um, there's a little fire in the bottom of the pit so what I'm going to do now is put in a, a bigger fire and get that ready for smoking the pheasants so that's what I'm going to do right now so you can see the fire here really quite a good fire. Um, what I wanted to do is to just burn slowly around here. So I'm just going to stack some of these up down at the side. Like that. So I'm just going to assemble the barbecue with a smoker. And this time I am going to be using the, uh, the water um, part of the smoker. I'm going to put the, uh, the water trough in there. Right, my assistant Sophie is going to show us, uh, going to help us with the, um, one of the rubs that we're going to put on the uh, pheasant. So this one is going to be uh, a chilli rub. Um, most of the rubs that I like tend to have chilli in them, but uh, she's going to help make this one up. So first of all we need three, um, the recipe is three tablespoons of sea salt. We have a tablespoon of measure there. So. This or oh, that teaspoon. That's a tablespoon. Right? So flat across it. Yeah. I have it on the big one. So what we have is three tablespoons sea salt, two tablespoons chili. I think that's about three. Did you measure it? No. What did you do? <laughs> it overflowed. Oh <laughs> no. Okay, so in actual fact, when we checked it, it was exactly three tablespoons, which is quite hard to believe, but it was. I'm a genius. So now we want two tablespoons of chilli powder. So we've got a hot chilli powder there. Two? I use, no, I use what's left in there. So two? Yeah, two tablespoons of chilli powder. Okay. I'm going to measure it on this just... Yeah, here's the other one just to make sure. Right, here's the soft brown sugar. This is a bit funny stuff. Mix it up, yeah? Mix it up, yeah. We've got the big bits broken up. Don't... So there we have our completed rub. 
for the pheasants. So that's one of the rubs. Um, I've already got another one which is very high in chilli. This is one that I uh, made before. It's got a lot of chilli and a lot of paprika in it. Again, it's a very nice, nice rub. It's got some sugar and some salt in it as well, similar to this one. So I'm going to do uh, a bit of both, the different flavours. So, so there we go. Right, so here's the uh, the pheasant uh, that's uh, been in the fridge all night and in the uh, brine. So what we'll do now, we need to wash that off. We'll just give each piece a wash and we'll drain that away. So uh, I'll show you what else has got going on here. Um, around this side we've got the, this is uh, cherry wood chips, cherry wood chips and they're, they're just sitting in some water there. They've been in there for about, about an hour or so. And I've also got some homemade cherry chunks as well. So all of those will go into the fire later on. Okay, so here's our uh, pheasant. So we're just going to drain all this brine off. And then what I'm going to do is just going to give it a good swirl to get the excess off. You see how this meat's really sort of stiffened up a fair bit? That's the, uh, that is a part of the brining process. So. Right, we'll get all that off. It smells really garlicky and quite good. Oops, last one down the plug hole there nearly. I really need to dry this, so uh, what I usually do with a pheasant is just put some, put it in some uh, kitchen roll. I would have preferred non-painted kitchen roll, but that's what we've got. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it in here for a bit. That's partridge. That's a well-shot pheasant. Another piece of pheasant. Right, so what I'm doing now, I'm just putting a bit of oil on here. I'm using rapeseed oil, it's as good as anything. You can use olive oil or any other oil you wish. Uh, so I'm going to do both sides of the pheasant. Right, and then what I'll do, I'll put, put some of this rub onto each one. So I'm just going to use one of these spoons here. And I'm just going to put some on both sides, just a little bit, go all over it, on both sides. A good covering. Roll it around in that a bit. The oil just allows it to uh, cook better and it also allows the, the rub to be absorbed a bit better. So there we go. So I'm going to put that onto the rack. So it's now on the rack. I'll do some more. Okay, so here's the, uh, the pheasant and uh, and the partridge. You can see it's all. It's got two different types of rub on it. Uh, this is the latter rub. And this is the one we made today. So see the smoke starting already. From what I just put on there. So this is going straight into here. That's on there. Uh, in fact I need to push this through as well. Just a gauge for the temperature so that I can see what temperature we're cooking at. 
and now we'll pair this down, fasten the clips. You can see on here the, uh, the temperature inside at the moment is 160, that's 64 on there, 156, but it was up to 210 not long ago before I took the top off. So it'll soon be back up to that um, and then it'll start cooking very quickly. It should take about an hour for the pheasant to be cooked, the pheasant and the partridge. Um, we'll also be monitoring the internal temperature of the bird so that we know that it's safe to eat. Right, well this has ended up, it's been uh, almost two hours now since I put the pheasant on. Um, it's taken a while to cook this afternoon, but uh, it is actually done now. So there we go, you can see if it's all done. And I'm just going to get that off now, off the barbecue. We've reached the temperature of 160 degrees F inside the pheasant. Remove that. And this is now ready, as we can see. So what I'll do is I'll leave that to cool, and I'll slice it, and then I'll vacuum pack it. So here we have the partridge on the right, and the pheasant on the left. So here to help me is Ian. Alright. And he's going to try a piece of partridge, maybe. This one? Yeah. I'll try a piece of the pheasant. Mmm. 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 That is good. Mmm. Well, we'll try a bit of the other. Bit of the pheasant. Mm. Spicy. Real nice spice to it, that. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. That is good. Very good. What do you think? Mm. Still of approval? Yeah. Yeah. Cool.